and welcome to this video. This is a um, video called Quick Editing. So in this video, I want to show you how to take one long piece of footage and quickly edit, edit it to remove the bits you don't need, but in the fastest time possible. It's possibly the most useful skill in the course, and it will save you literally hours. I'm gonna when we when we go over the shoulder, I'm going to show you how many people do it, how I used to do it in the past, and how I do it now. And it involves using audio markers such as a clap to mark times when you make mistakes in your video, meaning you can then quickly see them on the timeline because you can see the spikes in the audio, and then you can use hot keys on your uh, keyboard to quickly cut cut your mistakes out. But don't forget to add your colour grading and audio effects to the whole timeline first to save time doing it later. I'll show you what, what I mean by that over the shoulder. So let's go over the shoulder. We just bring in, I'm going to do a new project and just do it as a, uh, as a test video um, example. Quick edit. So when we bring in our video, so I'm going to use one from... Um, past video that I've, that I've actually already made um, <clears throat> okay, we'll just go for this one now in this video there might actually not be the claps but in fact let me just pull in another video as well one that I've just made that did have a clap in it uh, to show you exactly what I mean by that so it was I think it was this one so this is the raw footage of one of the vid of the last video that from the course so so when we when we stretch out the timeline of this and we move across, so if you can see, so here here's an audio marker. So when I'm starting this video off, I do two claps so I know when I'm going to start speaking, and then just after we go, if you go down just after. So the claps are there, so I know anything before or after the claps I don't want. So I move to there, and then I'll click quickly hit Q, and that'll bring it back to that. Now, I'm going to walk you through the hotkeys separately. If we just go through to there was a part of the course where I made a mistake. So Well, I didn't actually make a mistake. What happened was my computer got a little bit frozen, um, so I wanted to cut part out. So if you can see here, there's a clap. So there was a there was where time was wasting. So if we click here, we click C and then cut, and then move it past. So, so again, I'm just sorry. No, it's not there. It's Okay, so, so it's there. So then, I go to there and I press Q and it brings it all, all together. So I'm not going to show it and then when you press V, you can delete, V, delete, V, delete. Right, now I'll show you that in a, in a, li in a live video, in a, in a proper video. So in a video where, where I would have made some mistakes. <clears throat> in fact, I'm going to start this again. Okay. So I drag a whole video over. Now the very first thing you want to do when you're making any video. Sorry, that's not the that's not, not the um the raw footage. Okay, so we'll, just, we'll do this one because it says raw, so I know it is. Okay, so we drag it in. So the very first thing you want to do when you edit in any video, is go up to see bring bring your first video in. And then we need to set the sequence settings. We want it to. We want to be able to render the video and make the video as fast as possible, so that it's the slower. It's a, it's a slow, um, as quick a possible time as making the video, so that it doesn't take ages to, to render. So we want to bring the frame quality, frames down to twenty four. Make sure this is on custom up here. And then we go to preview file format. Change that to quick time, and we change that to that. And you do this with every bit of raw footage that you bring in. Press OK. Right now, if we just stretch, if we just uh, zoom in, so I know that all this down here is not. You can then see when I start talking. Hi guys. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add our color and our audio presets. So our audio preset, you, you won't have this yet because I'm going to teach you in a, in a later video how.
basically all of these, the inside the audio effects, there are certain things that you want to add to every audio clip to make it sound better. But what, I'd, what I'm going to do is teach you how to put them all into one preset so that when you just drag it over and put it on. Now we want to do this first and also do the colour, which is Lumetri presets, film stocks, and then choose one from there unless you've got uh, private... Um, film stocks that are, or, or sorry, uh, private Lumetri presets that you've purchased from somewhere else. These are the ones that come with um, with uh, with the Premiere Pro. So you add them first, and the reason we do that is so that later when you chop this up into lots of little clips to remove any any issue, any problems or any any edits, you don't then have to go and, and put these presets onto each individual clip. One way you could is you could link them all together, but it's much easier if you just do your voice, do your colour when the when the clip is all in one piece. Okay. Then, then get to our part where we start. And we can okay. do that by just moving it just before. So if we zoom out, move it to just before, and then there's three hotkeys that you'll only that you'll ever need to use. C, which turns it into a into a cutting tool to be able to cut like that. V, which turns it into the selection tool so that you can quickly select and move. And then Q, which what that does is, so if I just undo undo that one, if I hit Q, wherever this marker is here, when you hit Q, it will cut everything before it to the next cut. So let's, for example, say I made a cut here, and I want to remove all this up to that point. I now hit Q, and that brings it all, removes everything in between those two cuts. So this allows you to do really quick edits by looking through, looking for your claps, or looking for anywhere if you just want to remove it, see to make the cut, move the marker to the place where you want it to, to, to cut it to, and then hit Q. So again, if I just undo that, so the very first thing I want to do here is remove, so is I'll only start just before I start talking, so hit Q. That will move all the waste at the beginning. Then go through. In, um, and then let's say I see a clap. Let's say I see a clap around about here. So I want to, so I want to sharpen this up. So bring, remove these gaps of nothingness where there's no talking, and I want to just edit it up. So C, move the marker to where I want it to, and then Q, and then that will sharpen everything up. So C, just keep watching this. So it will sharpen everything up, so it will remove pauses and remove breaks, and you simply go through the timeline and do that everywhere. So again, move to there, C, cut, move to there, Q, and do that all the way through. Remove, so remove, and then when you get to the end, after you finish speaking, video. C, cut, V, highlight, delete. And that's it. And you do that throughout your whole video. And that's how you quickly and easily cut out mistakes, pauses, anything that you need to do. But make sure that you add your voiceover preset first and your color preset. And then go through and then chop off the end part so that it ends nicely. And later I'm going to show you things like video transitions and stuff like that in between those clips. So that's basically it for this video. It's very simple, very straightforward, but it is very, very powerful and saves hours and hours and hours of work. The way that m most people do this is they use these here. So that's your selection tool. That's your cut tool. And then I believe this one is, yeah, this is called the ripple edit. So that's what the, the Q, so no, that's B. In fact, Q's not even on there, so you'd have to add that there first. So it, 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 it does become very time consuming. But like if you were to select... And then you want to cut, so you've got to click that, and then you've got to do that, and then you've got to find the the Q tool, and then you've got so you can see that it does take you a lot, it saves you a lot of time by just Q, C, and V, and they're the only number, they're the only keys on the keyboard that you'll ever need to remember. Q, C, and V. Thanks a lot for watching this video. See you in the next.